call to you now the Grand Order of Halloween Lovers. Mm. You think maybe I should wear this when I read my next story? Of course, you don't see me on the video, so that'd be kind of pointless. But maybe in the intro? That'd be cool. Good morning, Ryuk. How are you? Doing just great. That sounded like Beetlejuice. I'm making pancakes for dinner. So, my secret to making really good pancakes is to add a little bit of vanilla to the batter. And just give them really good flavor. like the only pan I've been, ever been able to make pancakes in. And the best spatula for pancakes. Pancakes. Or Halloween pancakes. Orange with uh, Halloween sprinkles. Mm. These didn't quite turn out how I wanted, but they're still purple and orange and black sprinkles. ones turn out kind of weird. They look like they're burnt, but they're not. There's that and pumpkin. Do you like them? Yeah. Yum? Yum? Yeah. <clears throat> Bat and pumpkin. And just regular. Regular shaped. That almost looks like it has a face, even though I didn't make it a face. Pancakes. <laughs> you heard it now because I was loud. We're making like little bowling pins. Yeah. Yeah. It could be bowling pins or a ring toss. In the Halloween book it was a ring toss, but we could also use them as little bowling pins. So let's show what we're making see it's a little ghost we're putting rice in it so that it's stable got a skull and some pumpkins right say hi hi cool these are going to be great yeah let's turn it around i'm going to do this part too Oh, right to that way. Anyway, tonight's Halloween themed game is brought to you by Steve Jackson Games. Ghost of Candy. We get candies. Oh, we have theme game. Well, not that first, not Halloween theme, but King of that Tokyo. Can't be monsters. King of Tokyo. It's got monsters. Halloween in expansion it. pack. Remember, I used to like fawn over this every time I went to play live. I was like, oh. not that I went through that much, but. Was that on Play Live? Yeah, I mean, that's where I got it, but is that Yeah, really that's where I first saw it. Oh. I think I can count on one hand so all the time you've been in there. <laughs> I know. And we have the Boogeyman, or what is his name? Boogie, 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 I think. He looks cool. You want to be Oogie or you want to be one of the other ones? Uh, Going with the Halloween theme here, man. Woogie, that's his name. Liberty Ghost Princess Pumpkin Guy. Both won a game. I ended with being Pumpkin Jack, the zombie 
Ghost Princess Statue of Liberty. And you were a robot clown vampire. <laughs> that sounds really frightening. <laughs> a robot clown vampire. Ooh, look at all the lights. Look at all the lights. And here's a pumpkin. We're playing Halloween, but then Dragon abandoned me. <laughs> Ooh, everything looks cool behind there. It's glowing. It'll look cooler when it gets darker tonight. It's a new spider web. <laughs> A new, a, new, a new spider web. Okay. Here, that's all. I'm going to the library. Real quick trip. I want to see if they have any more spooky story books. And pick up a hold. So I just got out of the library. That's some pretty cool stuff. <clears throat> I got another Christopher Pike book and another spooky scary story book. Yay! So, today at the library, I got another Christopher Pike book, as I said. Eternal Enemy. More scary stories. Which the other day, let me see, so much stuff over here. The other day I got picked up this one. Failure is the first deal. Evil. Fear of Street. And then I picked up still more scary stories for sleepovers. There's actually some really good stories in here. So I might read one for Friday. We'll see. Actually, if you're watching this video, it's probably past then, so. Um, yeah, so I got these two. These were actually for sale, so these are mine to keep. And then the R.L. Stein and the Christopher Pike. And then <clears throat> I finally, I've been waiting forever for this manga, Tokyo Ghoul. I've been wanting to read it for the longest time. So I picked that up. Number one. And then this interesting book called Last Call of the Nightshade Lounge. It sounds really interesting. It reminds me of um, Magicians, if you guys have watched The Magicians on Netflix. I haven't read it yet, but the synopsis on the back reminds me of it. And then I got some books for Dragon, and I got this... The Artful Parent, Simple Ways to Fill Your Family's Life with Art and Creativity. So yeah, I've been having fun at the library. So tomorrow I'll be going on a short shopping adventure. I have a doctor appointment and a new one. I will be going out. Um, probably to Dollar Tree Half Price Books Outlet. And Hagen, which is a local grocery store that we have. And I haven't been there in years. Like, long time. I'm talking like 10 years or more. It was crazy. And I went there last week, and it's a pretty cool store. It looks like a little more upscale grocery store, but the prices aren't so bad. And they have some neat extra things besides groceries, so I'm going to go back there and hang out. But what we need to recognize is that on this particular issue, it is a genuine face-off of two absolutely contrasting worldviews. Just Ooh, it's very blustery today. Mm. Am I able to get past this? Okay, so here I am in the car waiting for a Dragon and Hugo. Um, I have a really bad headache. I didn't sleep well last night. I had a really bad neck ache. It went up into my head, and now that my neck's feeling better, now it decided to become an allergy attack behind this eye. So my eyes are all red, you can see, and oh, I just feel miserable.
going to try to find something for that, fortunately. And it paid yesterday, so we were able to go out and do a few things. Um, you all got paid today, so... Yay! Um, I just, I'm tired. Gosh, I'm tired. We're going to go get some food, and then we're going to go do a little bit of shopping. But, uh, my sister couldn't babysit. because She had an appointment, so we got to go pick up Dragon. So that's what we're doing now. I'm at Hagen, and they have some pretty cool stuff here. There's something that I really want. Hey, I want this. And I'm trying to justify $8.99 to buy it. And I just don't know. <laughs> I was practicing my Lydia makeup for Halloween. And I think I got the eye color down pretty good. Still working on the hair. Don't feel like showing that right now because it kind of sucks. So, still trying to master the bangs. My bangs are curly, so it's kind of difficult to get them to do what they're supposed to do. So anyway, that's the end of week three, four. That's the end of week four. And I will see you guys next week. Um, I got a Halloween party coming up on the 26th, so hopefully I'll be able to vlog some of that. See you.